Preparing an image for panning and scanning is a little bit different to just preparing your image for use in video. We need to prepare our images so that they are oversized. This is because we're going to be using special effects in our video editing program to actually pan across or zoom in on particular parts of our image. This is sometimes called the Ken Burns effect because he used this to great effect in many of his documentaries, in particular the Civil War series. To do this, we first of all need to get our digital camera image into the correct pixel aspect ratio, as we have learned before. If you don't know how to do this, take a look at the pixel aspect ratio tutorial. You'll find a link to it on this page. Now we go to the File New Menu. We choose from the preset list the video format that we're going to be using and I again, because I'm in Europe, will be using the PAL standard. For our friends in the United States, you'll be probably using the NTSC DV format. So I'll go to PAL. It puts in, most importantly, the correct pixel aspect ratio. We say OK. Message about pixel aspect ratio correction, say OK to that too. So here's our nice shiny blank Photoshop document which has got the correct pixel aspect ratio turned on. So I now need to bring in my original digital camera image which is using square pixels into this one. Now I can't really use the file place option because file place will automatically scale the image to fit this. So I need to drag and drop. So I go to my layer palette go to the image to be copied, drag and hold down shift. Remember to hold down shift so it will place the image in the center of our blank document and drop. Now I'll just move this up here so we can see where we're going to next and I'll just close or move away my layers palette because I'd like to see as much as possible of this. Okay, I'll zoom out and now we can get a better idea of what we've got to play with. This is the standard PAL format, 720 by 576 but I'd like to see the entire image so we can use this for our pan and scan. If I go to Edit Free Transform, you can see just how much of the edging has been cut off from this. I want to get all of this back. Very simple. Go to Image and use Reveal All and it will automatically resize your canvas to fit the current layer. As you can see, there's the dimensions for our PAL image and I've got all this room for my video editing program to play with for panning and scanning. Save it as a Photoshop file, make sure you choose the PSD format and the image can be imported directly into your video editing program.